Hey, thank you for stopping by, and welcome back to the Terraria Calamity Mod Summoner playthrough. When I stopped recording last time, I got the, you feel an evil presence watching you or whatever, so I assumed that I have Cthulhu was gonna spawn, but then it just didn't. Uh, so I'm just gonna spawn it manually. <laughs> There's really not much exciting that happens in this fight. Unless you're in like expert mode or something, there's really not a lot that happens. They're getting it done. We're almost already halfway. Summoner weapon proficiency level up. Uh, I don't know what that means, but I guess it happened. <laughs> I really don't think there's anything the Eye of Cthulhu can drop that we want. So this is not that important of a fight, but I guess money, I guess it gives us money. It's pretty cool. Since this fight is brainless, I guess I can take advantage of this time to brainstorm what I want to do today. I think I think our first step is going to be going to the Sunken Seas because now that we have... Oh, there we go. Because now that we've defeated the Desert Scourge, uh, we can get the Voltaic Jelly accessory, which gives us an extra minion slot, and that's huge. So we definitely want that. Favorite this item for Night Vision? Sure, I'll take Night Vision. We got a Shadow Diamond. I have no idea what that does, but we got one. All right, so let's let's head to the Sunken Sea. I already forgot where my desert is. It's to the left, okay. All right, we need to find those jellyfish. Oh, we're so quick with the Victide armor. Oh my God. All right, so we need to find the jellyfish. I forget what they're called. I think they're called ghost bells. Probably, I trust myself. Why is it so dark? Oh, that's right. All right, there's a jellyfish down here. Let's grab this guy. We got a jellyfish necklace. We already have one, but that's still pretty cool. Come on, you got it, there we go. Voltaic, wow, that took way less time than I thought it would. Plus one max minions, okay. What do we swap this with? That's the question, I mean, it's gotta be the jelly, right? Which sucks because the jelly rules. What, can I combine the jellies? Is that a thing I can do? I feel like that, that must be, right? Grand jelly, I need life jelly. You need a mithril anvil anyway, okay, I don't care. <laughs> All right, well, we have three minions now, which is fantastic. Next up is probably gonna be Brain of Cthulhu, I guess, right? Let's go do that. So now that Thanksgiving is over, it is officially Christmas season, and uh, I'm pumped, personally, especially in a year of quarantine, having literally anything happening is exciting. Uh, but I feel, like, I feel like Christmas is almost coming earlier this year, because I think it's just that everyone is anxious to have something to do because every like every house in my neighborhood has already put up Christmas lights and it's not even December yet. Usually it's 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 a bit before the Christmas lights go up, but they are already being put up. And I, I think it is just because of quarantine. Everyone just wants to do something. Playing Summoner is so refreshing because I love that I can just do stuff. Like I can just collect materials and not have to worry about like switching to a weapon to kill stuff. I can just have my friends do it for me. People always say that the Eater of Worlds is a joke. I actually think the Brain of Cthulhu is easier for me. I think the boss itself is a bit tougher, but I, I think it's just the fact that the Crimson like makes an arena for you, like this entire spot is cleared out. Because the Eater of Worlds, if you fight it in that thin tunnel you get, is so frustrating. But this one, it like gives you a huge space to fight it in. We are two life crystals away from full health already. Oh, y'all see that? Because I do. Let's go. I think there's like a summon that we can craft with the tissue samples and crimtain ore that we get from this boss. We need a goblin invasion like really fast because I need to combine all these accessories so I can put some more accessories in my slots. I miss the vital jelly. I feel like I'm so much less nimble now. Okay, here we go. Excuse me. Oh, it's confusing me. Okay. We're fine, right? Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, get all those dudes. Ow. All right, so we gotta break the little eyeballs first. Yeah, okay, there we go. This thing is so susceptible to knockback, I can just like slowly walk away and it'll be fine. Oh no, he's gonna get me. Oh, that one actually got close. <laughs> Easy, 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 easy. All right, we probably have enough. I need a magic mirror. <laughs> Can I craft that? Because I have not found a single magic mirror. 10 iron, 10 glass, 10 fallen stars. That's a lot of fallen stars. We got a couple more of these lore things. Teleportation is just, uh, I don't care. Perfect. 
The scab ripper. 13. Annoying. Oh, that sucks. Minus 20% damage. That's awful. And we haven't found the goblin yet. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go get more shade wood. I need to make another one. Last recall potion. Okay, I am officially out of recall potions. That really sucks. What is good, though, is that I can give this scab ripper another try. Furious. Much better. Much, much, much better. That, let's see. Let's get these new guys in here. Oh, they're like little bugs. What are they? A baby blood crawler. Hello, little dudes. Oh, and they fly around. I really don't know what we are supposed to do. Do we fight the queen bee? I think we fight the queen bee. Actually, I think we could honestly skip the queen bee. If I'm being honest. I think we can just go straight to perforator. I think this is good enough gear for perforator. There we go. Magic mirror. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so I was stuck at like 59 subscribers for like a month. And then I got from, fi I went from 59 to 65 over just the past two days. I guess you guys are enjoying the series, in which case I'm very happy. Uh, cause I'm having a great time recording it. This is like the most fun I've had making videos in a while. Not exactly sure how the, oh, you just kind of like boom, boop. Okay. Uh, I want to be able to walk through them though. So wait, if only the guide and the merchant can live in there, where's the nurse? Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that, that they can go up there. She's fine up there. Yeah, I think we, I think we skip B armor, and if we can beat perforators with just these three dudes, then we can just go straight to aerial light. If you're enjoying the series so far, I know I say this all the time, but I really do mean it. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to like, make sure to tell your friend, make sure to do whatever you want. I don't know, I'm not the boss of you. You make your own call. Traveling merchant. I'm a little busy right now, traveling merchant. Uh but I will come by and check out your wares if I have time. <laughs> and there's the cyst. That works out nicely. Can y'all hit that? Okay, I'll just do it. Man, this is super fun. Thank you guys for not attacking it. Really means a lot that you let me do this entire thing myself. Okay, there we go. All right, so if I remember correctly about the perforator, uh, you if you break the hive before you break the like worms that it spawns you lose So we need to be very careful because I think I've made that mistake a ton of times Okay, stop Now we attack that guy Okay, this is kind of a balancing act because we need to make sure they don't target the the hive before we're ready All right, come back up come back up that guy get him nice. Okay now back onto the yeah, they're latched on. All right, we need to be ready to despawn them. Because it's gonna spawn one last worm. Okay, there it is. Okay, we need to make sure not... Okay, there we go. Now we can kill the thing. Yeah, we got it. Nice. That went really well, actually. Okay. Uh, what did we get? We got Sausage Maker. <laughs> okay. And Bloody Rupture. It's pretty neat. What do you have? Dynasty Wood. Okay, I don't care. Um, Tin Helmet. We got 15 of these blood samples. What can we do with these? Blood clot staff. 10 blood sample. Five crimtain bar, four vertebrae at a demon altar. Uh, I have that in my inventory. I wish I had checked before I teleported home. <laughs> blood clot staff. Uh, now we can leave. They're more of the like classic float around and run into things summon, which I do like. I like ones that float. Because you don't have to worry about like getting them to latch onto stuff. They just kind of do it. Will a platinum pickaxe mine area light? Probably not. We can probably make a nightmare pickaxe, honestly. Or a, whatever it's called. A, a freaking... A thing. A thing pickaxe. <laughs> Alright, let's go. I have no idea what area light or looks like. 
I'm sure it'll look like super different than what I'm used to, so I hope I'll be able to spot it pretty quickly. Ow. Oh, stop with the guns. Oh, God, I hate it. I sword. I will sell that. Thank you. What is that? You see that up there? I need to go check that out. It's tundra leash it's a mount what does it look like <gasps> it's a dog it's very large so i can't use it right now but i do like it thank you stop stop with the guns okay so first things first area light awesome next Nope. Oh, how much do I bet we need a freaking sky mill? Ha! Ah, okay, we don't have a sky mill, do we? Uh, sky mill. All right. What is the air spec? Okay, we don't want that. Aero spec leggings, aero spec helmet, and aero. Oh my god, a goblin army! Yes, thank you. Okay, that takes us from eleven defense and eight summon damage to 16 defense and nine summon damage huge upgrade and i have this angel dude follow me what's that about okay we need to check the set but whoa that's a lot set bonus 16 percent increased minion damage summons a valkyrie to protect you taking over 25 damage in one hit will cause a spread of homing feathers to fall allows you to fall more quickly and disables fall damage oh so i can fall fast now i love fast fall okay i'm getting rid of the oh i can swap out lucky horseshoe now and put like vital jelly or something in oh i'm so quick again yay that's awesome oh i can i fall so fast dude this is like my new favorite armor i'm so quick it's like my new favorite armor set i love fast fall dude it's so fun i'm so nimble yep awesome that was easy Depending on when you get it, the Goblin Army can either be such a pain or the easiest thing in the world. Before we end the episode, I want to find the Goblin. So th I think that's going to be the last thing we do today. Okay, this seems like something I'm just going to have to find naturally. I think, <laughs> I think I might just have to wait until I explore some cave in the future and then I'll just like... Because usually I never really have to think about it. Usually I just like stumble upon him pretty quickly. Well, thank you so much for watching. We got a lot done today. New armor set, which I freaking love. <laughs> Bunch of new summons. Uh, beat a couple bosses. Beat three bosses, actually. Uh, beat the Goblin Invasion. Next episode is... It It very well could be the last episode of pre-hard mode. I don't know anything about this mod. I haven't been checking the boss checklist, so... Wall of Flush is right here. Yeah, we just beat the Perf Raiders, which just leaves Queen Bee, Skeletron, Slime God. Oh, yeah, Skeletron. The dungeon is definitely going to be next episode. Uh, so, yeah, Dungeon and Slime God are going to be the two things we probably do next episode. So, if you're pumped for that, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you know the second I upload. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.